Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Germany Online, where we talk all about lifestyle, travel, and ways to help you monetize your social media so that you have more freedom to do the things that you love. So I surprised my husband with a birthday trip to Dubai. This is us at the airport. We stopped inside of the Amex lounge to hang out before our flight. And it was actually really nice. The food was pretty good. It was a great way to kind of relax and unwind before we had to hop on this 15 hour flight. This is my food. I got some roasted potatoes with some chicken and veggies, some soup. Of course, we had some champagne to enjoy and celebrate before the real celebration started. Um, we sat kind of in this secluded area of the calming lounge area, which was kind of just ducked off and more private. So we decided to sit over there and then shortly after it was time for us to start boarding for our 15 hour flight to dubai so yeah the adventure begins i was so excited to fly emirates it was our first time flying emirates and our first time going to dubai so on the flight we flew premium economy this is a little bit of what it looks like but i'm going to do a full video on the entire emirates flight experience but we hopped on our flight. We were in the air for 15 hours, y'all. So very long flight, but overall it was actually pretty comfortable. I'm so glad I decided to get us tickets to Dubai with Emirates because they definitely cater to customer service. After 15 hours, it was almost time to land and we were officially in Dubai. This is the view out of the window before we landed and yeah this is what it looks like we had a pretty comfortable flight overall so i was so grateful for that even though it was long it was very comfortable so we landed and left off the plane we were in the dubai airport this is us headed to our hotel we stayed at five palm in dubai and this is basically us in our car we did an airport transfer pickup with the hotel so they picked us up it was very comfortable um they had us in like a tesla i don't know what kind of tesla but it was very comfortable um our airport transfer was very friendly he talked to us a little bit about dubai and maybe had a few suggestions we arrived at five palm and when i tell y'all this property was absolutely stunning this is kind of what it looks like at nighttime because we had a late flight so we didn't get into dubai until like nine something at night but this is what it looks like inside very luxe um very grand lots of gold and it was just absolutely even luxury so this is us getting into our room for the first time there's a little doorbell on the side of the the room which I thought was pretty cool. So this is what the room looked like. I got the Lux C view room for us. They had like king size bed in there. There was a little mini bar area, a desk area. And this is the bathroom. They had a beautiful bathroom with a soaker tub. You can tell they put a lot of time and energy into the design of this property. Like there was a toilet, but there was also a bidet. And then they had a rain shower it was nice and it was definitely giving five star this is the view from our hotel balcony and it was absolutely stunning stunning the next morning we decided to get up and have breakfast at boulevard on one which is one of the many restaurants at this hotel it's set up as a buffet style so they have pretty much everything you can think of a huge variety which was a really good choice for us because we didn't really know what we wanted to eat or where we wanted to eat it was our first day there our first morning so we just decided to go to boulevard on one i had a veggie omelet uh with some granola some fresh fruit all of the fruit was really really fresh and this is the view outside of boulevard on one really really nice views for you to eat breakfast in the morning so we are back in the room um we are staying at five palm in dubai and this property is like so so nice it's a really really beautiful property we got up this morning this is our first official morning in dubai because we got in really late like last night 
Um, so we came in, checked in, and we just basically ordered room service. We didn't really do anything last night. So this is our first official day, our first morning. We got up this morning. We did about an hour workout, which was actually a really pretty good workout. They have a decent gym here. Um, then after that, we came back to the room. We freshened up and we went to have breakfast. So we had breakfast at Boulevard on One, which is like a buffet style restaurant here on the property. And they have a bunch of restaurants, but it's like buffet style. They have pastries, fresh fruit, gr granola. They have, um, you can get omelets made. Um, all of the tea, the coffee, juice, water, everything. Um, they have turkey bacon and chicken sausage and potatoes. I mean, just so, so much food. So it's a really good option um, if you are looking for a variety here at this property and at this hotel. It was a good option for us this morning. Um, we didn't really know where we wanted to go. So it definitely gave us a lot of variety this morning. But now we are back in the room and we are about to get ready to head out for our Abu Dhabi city tour, which I'm excited about. I'm probably the most excited to see the mosque. Um, we have a bunch of different places that we're going to stop at on the tour, but that's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. So I'll be sure to uh, record as much as possible and you guys can tag along with our full on Dubai experience. So off to Abu Dhabi, we went for our city tour. This is us in our tour guides van. We did a tour through, I believe, Viator um, for this specific event or excursion, whatever you want to call it, um, this tour. We went ahead and booked it through Viator and this is us in the beautiful city. And this is when we arrived to the mosque. So the mosque was the first thing um, that we went to on this tour. And that's kind of what it looks like. Once we finally arrived, this is a view of the beautiful mosque. It was definitely beautiful. What I will say is there were a bunch of lines that you had to stand in before you even got to the property of the mosque. And it was very draining. It was so many people. Um, but it was very beautiful. I'm so glad I got to see it in person. But if I never went back again, I would not be phased at all. This is more of the beautiful architecture and what it looks like inside. Also, they are very, very strict. You have to be very, very covered up in order to attend this this property and this tour of the mosque. I had on a kaftan, which covered to um, a little over my elbow it went past my elbow and i still had to get some arm sleeves just to be on the safe side so that's that the next tour was emirates palace which is emirates palace hotel which is what you're seeing right now it overlooks a beautiful view of the water and apparently it's like extremely expensive and costs like twelve thousand dollars a night or something crazy to stay there is what our tour guide was telling us but it is absolutely beautiful this is what it looks like in the inside as well the architecture is like literally no joke it's filled with gold and so many just beautiful beautiful um, things so this is kind of what it looks like in the inside very very expensive very luxurious and we walked around a bit we took some pictures we got some footage that's the shake there on that picture his picture is everywhere in dubai and abu dhabi um but overall it was a really pretty pretty place now that night we went to have dinner at our hotel and this is the view from the restaurant rooftop and it was absolutely stunning we went to the Asian cuisine restaurant and overall the food was given very mediocre. The best thing about the food was the appetizer that we got, which I believe was seafood. They were like similar to seafood egg rolls and those were actually really good. Everything else, not so much. But this is what the property looks like at nighttime. It's all lit up and pretty. This is a little bit of what the spa looks like. The next morning we got up and did a workout and we kind of got to see a little bit of what the spa looks like. After our workout, we grabbed some breakfast at a different 
um, breakfast restaurant at the hotel, which was set up similar to a cafe style, but they actually had a pretty good menu options um, for us. So we ate there for breakfast the next day. It's called the De La Serie. After breakfast, we headed out. So this is what it looks like during the daytime. We actually ended up renting a car so that we could move around pretty freely and not have to worry about constantly getting Uber or taxis. And it was just so much more convenient for us because we had a lot of things that we wanted to do. And so this is the beautiful, beautiful Dubai. And this was our view on our way to our sky pool. So our sky pool was one of the things that we really wanted to do. This place is really nice. It has a big, beautiful view of all of Dubai and they have um, cabanas and areas for you to sit. Now I will say it can get a little expensive. We booked a cabana and then we still had to pay for food. So food was not included at all. This is a little bit of the menu. And they have cocktails and, you know, a bunch of different food options for you. They have sushi and they have, you know, chicken and seafood and a bunch of different things for you to get. Honestly, overall, the food was very mediocre. People go here for the view. I mean, guys, look at this view. It is absolutely stunning. It's a huge pool that wraps all the way around and you can see the entire Dubai. I got some more footage because it was just so beautiful, so relaxing. And I definitely think that this was a great, great place to visit since it was our first time in Dubai, but just be aware that it can get expensive based on where you wanna sit and how much food and drinks you wanna order. So this is kind of the inside of it. We were there for about three hours. So by the time we left, it was nighttime and it actually looks really nice at night as well. They have different time options and slots that you can choose from, whether you wanna get a nighttime view like this or a daytime view. The next day we went to ride camels and we went on our desert safari these are a few pictures that i got it was so dope i highly highly recommend doing this especially if it is your first time in dubai it is a sight to see this is footage of us heading over to the old souk or gold souk rather in dubai now i will say that this is definitely not a very like flashy area of dubai honestly it looks really suspect but apparently dubai has like no crime or a very very low crime rate um but this area did kind of make me do a little bit of a side eye um it's not glamorous at all but we definitely went to check it out and it's definitely part of the Dubai experience. So it can be very crowded. There's no parking. So um, everything is pretty much street parking and we had a hard time finding parking, which may depend on the time that you decide to go. But just know this is kind of what you are in for, constantly searching for parking. We finally found a parking garage that was very reasonably priced. So we ended up parking there and then just kind of walking down to the gold souk area but this is basically what it looks like and it's basically given like okay this is the real dubai like for real, for real not the fancy glamorous stuff um it's packed with people as you can see that says gold souk and it's basically just filled with a bunch of shops almost very much like flea market style and honestly, it can be very, very overwhelming. And the people there are very demanding when it comes to trying to get you to go into their shops. So just be prepared for that. This is the nighttime view. We were headed to go see the fountain show at the Dubai Mall. So this is what it looks like at nighttime. It was absolutely beautiful. And this is the fountain show. It's very popular and we sat upstairs at a restaurant called joe's cafe so that we could get a really great view of the fountain show and we did we got a really great view they play music and everything is lit up it's actually really really nice and it made for a really nice moment in dubai so this is what it looks like the dubai mall is very very overwhelming it's very huge we got lost so many times it was a lot so just be prepared um 
parking you have to park in the parking garage and it's just such a huge mall that you will easily get lost but overall we got to see the fountain show which was really nice and i'm glad we got to catch it on our first trip to dubai it was actually really really stunning and it lasted probably about 15 minutes um i would say yeah about 15 minutes it lasts and it was really nice okay y'all we went to this place called brunch and cake which was recommended to me by a local in dubai and when i say the food was everything the ambiance the service was 10 out of 10 look at these pancakes we got pancakes breakfast nachos which is what you're seeing right now and i also got a vanilla latte which was so good i got this egg scramble which had like a zucchini pancake and it was so good. This had to have been like the best brunch experience of my life. We got tacos, which were so good, and the acai bowl. Look at this beautiful ambiance. And this was absolutely the aftermath of our plates because this place is a 10 out of 10. It makes no sense to even go to Dubai and not go to brunch and cake, trust me. We also checked out Miracle Garden, which was something that was really important to me because I really wanted to see it in person. I've seen so many pictures online and it was definitely a beautiful sight to see. So creative and a lot of really good spots to get videos and pictures. Also, just know they have a bunch of vendors there, which I didn't realize, but just FYI, we returned back to our hotel this day, freshened up and then... I think this was the next day actually um my days were running together but we headed to ula for our last day in dubai and this place was really nice it had a really nice view a really nice setup overall which it's located inside of a hotel but they had a really good food menu and food options as well as mocktails and cocktail options and the food was really good i got something that was similar to like a chicken kebab it was seasoned so well we also got the prawns and some mixed veggies um my husband got like one with the kebabs that had like beef and it had lamb and it had chicken i got the one with all chicken and it was really good also got me a little mocktail and all of the food was really good um after that that evening it was our last day in dubai so we wanted to finally go to the beach and the pool area so this is what it looks like super nice we went to beach by five at our hotel and we hung out we had some drinks um, we had a little photo shoot on the beach and this is us as you can see that view is everything it was such a pretty day the weather was so nice this was closer to like sunset time and we just had a really really good time it was definitely a vibe i actually really liked beach by five the best because it was in between um kind of being on the beach and then also having the pool vibe without feeling too overwhelming because the hotel pool was a lot like a club and a section and popping bottles and it was a little overwhelming so beach by five was basically like a good in between this is praia i think is how you pronounce it which is located right off of the beach and then i ended the night with a glass of champagne and taking in the view of dubai <laughs> 